Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn what is web element and how to inspect web elements in three browsers, Chrome, Firefox and Internet Explorer. First, what is a web element? A web element represent an HTML element. HTML means Hypertext Markup Language which is used to create the web pages and web applications which is a very easier language to understand an html element will consist of a start and the end tag which will be represented like this this is a start tag and forward slash which means it's an end tag and this is how each web element will be represented in html for example this is a web page which is specially created for automation purpose when i say web element we have many types of web elements in the web pages like it's a text box used to enter the value then radio button for selecting then drop down or combo box we can say it anyway used for selecting the value then these are all the check boxes then for uploading we have an option and this is a text area and this is the web button then mouse over like this we have many web elements inside a web page as an automation tester our aim is to identify these web elements properly and perform the action if we can able to identify these web element accurately it means 90 percentage of our work is completed and rest 10 percentage is just performing the action like entering the value selecting fields and so on first we have to identify the web element for that we have to inspect it in order to inspect the web element we use the developer tools the same tool which can be used in all the web browsers the shortcut key for the developers tool is f12 let's see with an example for the first name I want to inspect this particular field so you can select from here more tools then developer tools whenever you get like this it's always a good practice make it dock to bottom so that it will be easy for us to inspect you can see a symbol like mouse pointer just click on that and move above each web element when you move over each web element that particular web element will be highlighted just click once the respective html tag will be highlighted here for the first name this particular input tag contains so many attributes attributes means type name id value class these are all the attributes each attribute has its own value we have to identify this particular web element using locators we have eight types of locators which we will see it in the next video for time being i am taking name locator and its value just copy we are seeing it for first name the locator is name and the value is pasted here vfp hyphen phi we have seen that in the chrome now using firefox second way to open the developer tool is just pressing the f12 if you press f12 this developer tool will be opened and same way just click on this just move mouse above the field and click on that the respective tags will be opened try to find name value for name locator the value it remains the same and same in IE, another way to inspect this particular first name field is right click inspect element. You can use any three ways as you wish. When you right click and inspect the element, automatically it will highlight that particular web element even without using this particular option. Here you can see the name attribute or locator and paste it here. By seeing this table, we can understand irrespective of any browser the locator and its value going to remains the same 
it means if you are coding in any one browser either it's in chrome or firefox or ie the same code can be used in other browsers also only difference is you have to launch the respective browser this is the only prerequisite step which you have to follow and rest of the codes remains the same that is what mentioned here either you can use from the option you can select the developer tools or you can press f12 key if not right click on that web element select the inspect these three ways available to inspect a web element the conclusion is the web element locators and values are common for all the browsers so the same code can be used for all the browsers even opera safari and so on that's the end of this video thanks for watching happy learning